Hello to everyone and welcome to Storyland. It's not uncommon for rumors about Queen Elizabeth's death to make headlines, but this time, the news is true. Queen Elizabeth II died at age 96 on September 8, concluding her 70-year reign. The Queen had faced health challenges during the later chunk of her life, having experienced brief hospitalization in October of last year, continuous episodic mobility issues, and a case of the coronavirus in February. Queen Elizabeth II had made an important announcement just four days before her death regarding the shooting party she had called for to spend some days at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. The Queen had said that the dinner on Sunday night would not be a formal one. Queen Elizabeth had announced that for dinner men need not come in black tie, nor should ladies stick to long dresses. She also had said that there would be no piper that night. This was a real departure from decades of tradition as pipers have been an indispensable part of every event organized at Balmoral Castle. The Queen's guests for the dinner night were her cousins with whom she had always shared close bonding. Although the Queen's health had made her last days tougher, she thoroughly enjoyed being at her favorite home with her loved ones. Reportedly, she faced difficulties in standing and walking, especially when she was going up and down stairs. The Queen had asked that most of the traditions of a Balmoral summer must continue, although she was not able to join them due to health concerns. Interestingly, the Queen had developed an affection for BBC weatherman Thomas Schaffernaker, and she loved watching TV weather forecasts. But hours before her death last Thursday in the afternoon, Buckingham Palace released a statement. Following further evaluation this morning, the Queen's doctors are concerned for Her Majesty's health and have recommended she remain under medical supervision. Parliament members and journalists had also changed into black ties to reflect the somber news of her illness. She remained under medical supervision at Balmoral Castle in Scotland, reportedly her favorite place to relax when she died. Her family members, including now King Charles and Camilla, now Queen Consort, traveled to the castle on Thursday. Newsweek's chief royal correspondent Jack Royston told that Charles learned of his mother's deteriorating health only shortly before the public. Charles took a call, everything was silent, and they were asked to be silent. Then the next thing she knew, Charles and Camilla were in a helicopter, Royston said. And that was at 12.30, so that was around exactly the same time that we were told. So they didn't wait. They didn't give Charles an hour or two hours, Royston added. Princess Anne, the Queen's only daughter, said she was with her late mother during the last 24 hours of her life. In a tribute shared with Insider, Princess Anne said it was an honor and a privilege to accompany her on her final journeys. Prince William, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, headed to the castle. Prince Harry also traveled to Balmoral and arrived after Queen Elizabeth died. These were the last days of the Queen. Her Majesty was more than a monarch. She defined an era.